I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 here we are, everybody. The finale. And to end it off on, we're doing fake and true. And then afterwards, I'll give some of my thoughts. Let's, uh, let's do this. I think that that was actually the perfect song to end on. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that a lot of these picks were just straight up random on how I was going to do them. And the reason why I feel like that this is the perfect way to end it all is because for those of you who don't know, one, I think that sometimes it might get a little lost in translation per se that I do all of this kind of like as an act to be honest 
I don't really change much off the camera. I might be a little bit quieter, unless if I get really passionate about something. But the song kind of hits the nail on the head for me. <laughs> My personal um, take on anything is, especially in terms of entertainment, when you got done with it, did you have fun? If you did, then it can't be bad, right? And the second thing that I want to say is that, about being positive, um, honestly, <laughs> I was worried when I first started this channel that I would find a lot of this to be not to my taste, and that I would be very negative. But then there's a part of me that's like, well, I can't be negative because I hear that sometimes people that like K-pop can be a little crazy. But, you know, at this point in time, I as weird as this sounds, kind of stopped caring about that. And what that did is just allow me to hear the music for what it is. And it might seem a lot of times that I come off as maybe positive, maybe too positive. But again, if you apply to, did I have fun? If I did, then how can it be bad? And then the next thing that I want to talk about is what kind of imprint do I want to leave? And my personal opinion is, is that the imprint that I want to leave is I want to leave one of being me. I want it to be genuine. The second thing is, is that <laughs> I do want to be positive because I feel like that the world is so negative. And I feel like songs like this nail the... The, the nail right on the head you know I am a very big proponent of if you have a dream you should go and make it a reality and I you know honestly if it's a dream where you, you had it your whole life that you wanted to work at like a library awesome that you wanted to be a hairdresser awesome that you wanted to be the president of your country awesome I think all that is so cool and I do feel a little sad when you run into people who are so negative, who just don't think that there's any way for them to ever achieve any of their dreams. And one thing that's interesting, and I'll shout her out, my whenever I go get my haircut, my hairdresser, uh, that is her dream job. And so I remember one time I just looked at her and I said, how does it feel to be one of the few people that does and has their dream job. And I think that the idea behind that is, is that, you know, you got to dream and you got to go for it. And I think that that's what's beautiful about the song. And that's how I feel. And this is probably one of the most relatable songs that they've had for that reason. Because my mission statement for this channel is basically what the song talks about. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, <laughs> is that I am a hype man through and through. I have a couple friends who also do YouTube. And a lot. sometimes, you know, we do get discouraged. I was discouraged for a while there. And honestly, <laughs> now I am having some of the most fun of my life. And this song is my mission statement. This is how I feel, is how this song, the, the lyrics of the song is exactly that. So, that's what I have to say. I know it's not talking about the in-depths and the production and whatnot. I just wanted to get that out there. Um, so, comes the saddest and hardest part <clears throat> of all one-week clubs. And that is the end. The finale. And I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that I could make them and will put them as a pillar of the channel. And put them, you know, up there with some of the other greats like Girls Generation 21 and Dreamcatcher and I have personally learned a lot about myself because of this one week club. And I hope that you have been able to feel 
and being able to relive some of those moments that you enjoyed. <laughs> I do know that there was a couple of mistakes that I probably made and that I could have probably done better on some stuff. And for that, I do apologize. Um, it's always hard for me to end these one week clubs and you'll notice that if you go through, I just drag out, out these last moments cause I almost just don't want it to end. But I will tell you there is a lot left for twice and I definitely will be going through and I probably will be adding their, um, their reality show. I want to check it out for those of you who don't know and you know, are curious Every Saturday, I have basically adopted into doing BTS's version of a reality show, Run BTS, and that's become one of my favorite themes. I'm like, I want to keep watching them, even when I'm off camera, but I don't because I want to watch it with all of you. And so you'll be expecting uh, some of that from Twice as well. We'll probably be going through and watching their new ones and then retroactively watching some of their old ones. And... Thank you all so much. Um, I had began to lose hope. And this one week club was one of my most hopeful. And it couldn't have been without you. And for those of you who are new, this does not mean we are done with twice. <laughs> Far from it. Um, we will be visiting them very shortly. And... I just hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did because this has been honestly one of the coolest experiences that I've had on the channel. And, um, yeah, I think this is where we end it. Thank you.